Resources for Africa hosted a conference that brought together leading PGM industry players to tackle industry issues facing the sector in South Africa. Given the economic sanctions by Russia, close attention needs to be paid to the global paradigm supply because uh, Russia outperforms us in paradigm. We outperform them in PGMs. So let's look into that space. That is space that we must exploit. Hydrogen was the buzzword of the day. In his keynote address on the future of minerals and energy, the outgoing chairman of the SFA Oxford looked into 2050. If the development of the hydrogen economy follows its projected trajectory, this could be positive for platinum demand. However, a corresponding decline in auto catalyst demand would simply offset the gains from hydrogen resulting in flatline growth overall. By fully exploiting the advantage of its natural assets in terms of solar energy potential, Africa has a great opportunity to adopt a low emissions policy and be the model to the world. Speaking on investments in the upswing of PGMs, investor appetite was highlighted. Basically, the investment community sees great opportunities in, uh, in, in the platinum group sector. And the, the companies are, in many ways, very cheap. They're earning lots of money. And so and they, they, they're companies which a lot, of, uh, a lot of people have great expectations of. One of the dangers in the system at the moment is that um, there, is, there is a huge windfall coming into the platinum companies. And investors do like the idea that a lot of this money should flow back to them as well as um, you know to do other things tensions are still on the rise between two miners bidding to acquire royal buffeting platinum where we are sitting now we only have one offer on the table and that is in Bala platinum and that is what we are supporting as the company the independent board has decided to recommend the offer from Bala platinum the conference also held discussions on how the mining industry can continue to enhance its relationships with its communities. We need to actively do the right things and then we need to adjust our narrative. A collaborative narrative that's far more proactive in explaining the benefit of mining to society. The work that we, not only the work that we're doing in uplifting society as a whole, but the impact of the metals and the minerals that we mine to create society as we see it today and the important role that it plays in creating the society of tomorrow. Thank you, Mining Review Africa, Johannesburg. Good day.